not asking you to feel sorry for me. What I'm saying is that you do what you have to do as a business owner to get through a difficult time. And we haven't laid anyone off. And yet, ironically and tragically, at the same time I'm cutting my salary to zero, they, in, they increase by almost 8% the budgets to run all the congressional offices, including the money that pays for these type of mailers. I can't reconcile that. It's not leadership by example. So we put together a series of reforms. We have uh, at least five, that, and there's more, actually. That's just one of them. There's others. And if you're interested, I'd love to sit around and, and, uh, and spend some time with you to talk about it. But uh, I just want to respect your time tonight. But there are other congressional reforms that really, the sum of them put together would really uh, say to, uh, I think, the, the community here that I'm fully committed to reforming Congress because my mailers would be no more than two per year, no closer than three months to an election, and instead of glossy, it'd be black and white. I got your car, I probably had one out in the car, forgot to bring it in. The black and white, really simple, recycled paper. So, for example, if a disabled veteran needed to know how to reach this uh, member of Congress, he or she could do so. Uh, but, but, but we need to set the example, the folks who serve in Congress need to set the example. I, uh, I, I consider it a real privilege to run and, and to, to even be here tonight with you. I'm just a hardworking guy, deeply concerned about the future of our country. But I want to share this with you. There is not one problem, not one, that we're facing in America that cannot be properly addressed with the right leadership. Just remember that. Any challenge that you see, whether it's financial, uh, whether it's military, uh, whether it's any kind of social issue, if you get the right leaders in the right places, good things happen. We're already seeing this. i got to give a plug for Governor McDonald. I mean, he's just, yes! <laughs> good things happen. And it's so good to know that we have good leaders in Richmond today. And I really do take comfort in that. Here, let me share with you just a few other things that uh, I think you'd want to know. Uh, to make a good decision. So many of you here are supporters. Many of you here tonight are new friends, and I really appreciate the opportunity to, to talk to, to many of you, and I'm meeting you for the first time. Here are a few things that, if I were you, I'd want to know about me. Okay? I believe that marriage is between one man and one woman. I believe in protecting the, the lives of those who are unable to protect themselves, um, those unborn and those near the end of life. I'm a constitutional conservative, so I hold a very conservative view of our Second Amendment. Uh, I, uh, I have a whole family <laughs> who really believes in the Second Amendment, you know? You go up to the farm with us one day, we'll, we'll show you. Uh, you know, uh, I, I really believe that that is a precious uh, right that was given to us by our founding fathers, and, and it needs to be protected, our right to, to keep and, and bear arms in a responsible way. Um, I really believe that to secure America's future, we need to secure our borders. This isn't anti-immigration. It's pro-legal immigration. You know, I want to reach out to every part of our community. That's extremely important to me. And it's extremely important to me that we all cross the finish line. And, and that, that, that the full fabric of our community is reflected in our, in our campaign. And it's reflected in, in our service to our country if I have the privilege to serve you and your families in Congress. I want to close, close with this. And if you have some questions, if you'd like to stay around, I, I love that part. It's really the best part. I, I enjoy the questions. I want to close with this. I, uh, I won't forget the experience that I had at Paris Island. You know, I was in the reserves and did not get activated. But I tell you, you can't go through Paris Island and not have it rock your world. And I remember reciting, and it's still, you know, just seared into my memory today, the Marine Corps motto, those Latin words, Semper Fidelis, always faithful, always faithful to family, always faithful to a fellow Marine, and always faithful to my country, to our country. And uh, those words are what is has compelled me and motivated me and inspired me to run. 
Uh, I love running for office because I know that we're running with a, with, uh, for the right reasons. I know that we're running with the right ideas. And make no mistake, right campaign man manager, we are running to win. So thank you so much. Thanks so much for the question. 